Alright, what is up, what is up? For some unknown, strange, mystical reason, I don't know why, I downloaded this bad boy. It does, as far as I am aware, it doesn't have an online mode. I'm pretty sure I am correct in that assumption, but uh, I don't actually know 100%, but I'm, I'm, I'm like 99% sure since verse mode only lights up if you have a second controller plugged in. Which wouldn't happen if, if, if it was available to be online. So, that's kind of a little bit of a bummer, but I understand it. As far as I'm aware, this is just like a straight port. This is not like a, like a retouching, touching anything about the game. It is literally just, here's this game, here's the PS2 version of this game. Which obviously didn't have online. So, before we get started on me being terrible at this game... Let's talk about recent fighting game stuff. Evo, I'm not going to get too into it. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I did. Um, King of Fighters 13, obviously, always, always exciting as hell. Loved it. I actually passed out halfway into Street Fighter 4 because, unfortunately, I work at, like, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. So I died halfway through. I couldn't, I couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. Getting old and stuff. Um... Marvel was quite fun to watch in general. Angelic Shuma was awesome. Cloud going bonkers was awesome. Uh, Justin Wong with Storm Comebacks was awesome. It could have been better. There could have not been a lot of kind of very, very similar teams, but there were. Unfortunately, that's, how Mar that's what Marvel is becoming. The top two teams are kind of settling in, and people are, people are getting used to them, so... You're going to see a lot more of that, unfortunately. But that's all I'm going to say about Evo. If y'all saw it, you enjoyed it. If you did not watch it for three days, you probably had a pretty damn good reason. So there's no point in getting on about it. Blaze Blue. I'd actually forgotten. About not forgotten, but kind of like just not kept up with it because I, just, I hadn't heard anything about it. And so I was like, okay, I, since I haven't heard a damn thing about this game, let's go and look this shit up, see what's going on. Only to find out that Axis, for whatever reason, is going down. They're not gonna. They're not gonna release the game in America until 2014. So, for those of you that aren't aware, let me just go through this. Usually, the general how Blaze Blue has been released thus far, it comes out in Japan arcades first and foremost, and it stays there for about six to eight months around that time period. And then there's pretty much a worldwide, except for Europe, sorry, Europe, Ax Arc System Works don't like you. <laughs> anyway, there's a, there's a generally, there's a general worldwide release about six to eight months after it drops an arcade. That's basically how it's been for every iteration of Blaze Blue that has come out. This time around, it's going to be almost a year before there is a console version dropped. Uh, Chrono Phantasma came out first in arcades in November of 2012. It is not getting a console version until it comes out in Japan on October 23rd. And for what, I mean, like I said, for whatever reason, Axis Games just is not going to have it ready until later on. It's not, it's not going to have it ready until 2014. So firstly, let me, just, let me just trash talk them for a bit. They're a fantastic fucking idea. There's nothing coming out in the winter in terms of fighting games. Blaze Blue would have been it. That would have been the only game. It would have been the only competition for fighting games. It would have been alone. If somebody's got a fighting game itch, they want to try out a new fighting game, Blaze Blue would have been it. That would have been the only choice. It is possible, very possible, that because there really hasn't been a fighting game that's come out recently, Blaze Blue could have been the big one. It could have gotten a lot of attention because it's coming out in kind of a dry spot for fighting games. Instead of that, it's now dropping in early 2014, which is the same time as Ultra Street Fighter 4. Now you got comp now you don't only have competition, you have the biggest competition. That is the big fighting game. You are not going to compete with Street Fighter 4. It's just a fact of life. There is no game, fighting game, that will come out that will compete with Street Fighter. Plain and simple. Street Fighter Cross Tekken, when it first dropped, was a terrible game. It still sold like it was fucking made of gold. And now you're coming out with a, like an actual Street Fighter game, an update, 
with brand new characters that are fan favorites. People love them some Elena. People love them some Relento. People love them some Poison and Hugo. They actually have characters that people like and that people are going to want to play despite the fact that they're basically carbon copied from Street Fighter Cross Tekken. That is beside the point. It's a big fucking update for Street Fighter. And now Blaze Blue has to compete with that. Blaze Blue's going to get swept under the rug because of that. Like, nobody's going to pay attention to the, except for current people that are already fans of Blaze Blue. Nobody else is going to give a shit. Plain and simple. And that sucks. That is terrible. But, that is Axis's, Axis's cells decision. It's up to them. It's a bad one, but what are you going to do? So, be gentle with me. I don't actually know what any of the grooves do, so I'm going to go with C-Groove, which is basically how our fighting games usually are. And I'll pick my one dude that I want to pick. Actually, you know what? Just just for shits and giggles, because I suck, let's pick, the, let's pick this dude that I want to pick that's on crack. This dude is legit. Like, I have to imagine this guy's tournament ban. Because this dude is like twice as fast. He basically has kind of sort of the same moveset as, the, as regular Yori, but he's just like twice as fast. And then I'm going to pick basically two characters that I am fairly certain. Where the fuck is Cammy? Oh, there she is. Two characters that I believe are broken. I think. Well, not broken, but like top tier. But I don't know how to play them, so that could be an issue. <laughs> Such a bad idea. I do know a little bit about how to play Yori. I spent like five minutes prior to this playing because I wanted to figure out what the difference was between the two. I did not even fucking combo. Why didn't that combo? Why am I not getting the move out? Does he not have that move? Oh no, he does. Okay, I'm just not doing. I'm just not doing the motion correctly. There it is. Look at that. I say I don't know how to play the game, and I just beat the AI. Which means I'm very impressive. Yeah, let's go with that. I'm just going to do this right at the beginning for shits and giggles. Holy shit, it worked. <laughs> I wonder if that's safe. Does he have the command grab? I don't know if this version has command grab. Fuck it. I'm gonna die if I don't kill him. Or I'm just gonna like mash buttons and not have them come out. The thing about this game, this like play, if I actually could play this game, I'm not going to for a long time, obviously, because there's no online component and nobody's But like this is a game, so what's that combo? That would like actually help my skills. Not, you know when this is happening. Why am I not using super? I don't know what his supers are, actually. That's one. <laughs> I figured it out! Did he just do a lariat? Oh, he's doing like a double uppercut kind of thing. It's like Ken's super! But yeah, this is this is like the kind of game that would actually really help me uh, in regards to like my, uh, my, 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 my execution and whatnot. All that, all that noise. Because one of his combos, it's like actually very good for potential. Like, you know, I do this. But obviously, as you can see, that didn't combo. Did he just parry me? Did I just... He just parried me. There's a parry. There's a parry. P group is parry. P group. Parry group. Makes sense. I kind of sort of paid attention when I scrolled through it, but I don't really, I just know, I think K, I think, as far as I understand it, like, basically K-Groove, ow, basically K-Groove and C-Groove, as far as I'm aware, like, the big ones that were actually, see that, that's supposed to be, damn it, what the hell is that, see, I'm supposed, that was all supposed to be his fucking records, which obviously didn't pan out. I'm the best. I'm doing the same combo over and over. Let's try to mix it up a little bit. Oh, God. 
It still worked because the AI is hilarious. Oh, I didn't even kill him. It's supposed to be a grab. How is that not a grab? That not being a grab pisses me off. I was trying to show off my grabbing skills and it didn't work. I wonder if there's any other way to use your meter in this game. Because I built meter like a motherfucker. If y'all saw. And I only use like one super. I really do need to figure out. That was not it. Shit. Shit, 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 shit. Stop it. That was not it either. I mean, the smart money... Damn it. That was a read. That was not at all random and done completely just for shits and giggles. That was that was a read. That's what that was. <laughs> I think I need to turn up the difficulty of the AI so it's actually blowing me up as I fucking deserve. And of course, right as I say that, I start getting blown up. I was supposed to be an uppercut. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Now we have characters that I don't know the inputs for. Uh-oh. Well, it's Sagat. He doesn't know Sagat's inputs, let's be honest. Oh, God. Whoops. Wrong button. That was supposed to be a tiger knee. I promise that was not as scrubby as I made it out to be. Big fist that's longer than this dude's legs. Showing y'all how to run some fucking proper footsies up in here. I'm gonna do a super right away. Ha! Oh my god, that did half his health. Deserved it! Oh, did that all that used all three of my meters? Okay, no wonder you use meters so fast, I guess. Did he have, does he have Tiger Scar? Oh, no, that must be something to do with his groove. Okay. Oh, I was supposed to bait him into, like, see, that was mind games that would have maybe worked. On a player, he was supposed to throw another fireball, and then I would have bombed him with that. But it's the AI, and they read my inputs, and so they don't give a shit. AI doesn't care about my damn mind games. They don't count for shit. Yay, I get my best character back! Actually, me. Oh, he does. Ow. Oh my god, did you see the damage? Why is he glowing? Why is he glowing? Oh my god! Did my uppercut just... Oh, no, I did a super. I accidentally did a super. I thought it was supposed to be a regular uppercut. I thought he did a super. I was the one that did it. Shit. Why does this dude have a midget following him around? Why did he just try and kick my damn fire? Dude? What the... Oh, God. Holy shit. Holy shit. That was unfair. Fuck this little ass man. <laughs> I actually blew him up. <laughs> that amuses me. Worth the meter. Totally worth it. Ah, uh, Sagat, so why are you so pixelated? That makes me mad that this dude's big ass hitbox doesn't actually get hit. Oh my god, what is he doing? I didn't know if that would work. I just saw the flash and went for it. I had no idea what that flash was. But I was like, you know what? If this works, it works, and I'll be 
feel good about myself. What is this been doing? Oh, that's Vice. I know who Vice is. Because I played KOF 13. Oh, God. She did not have lightning legs in KOF 13. That was a reaction to the button press that happened before that button press. <laughs> it worked anyway, so it counts. Whatever. I'm godlike. Don't give me shit. Oh, no challenger. Let's go. Who's the new chat? Oh, God, he's all alone. That means this is probably going to suck. This must be a boss. Monsieur Geeks, didn't he die? I'm pretty sure I remember reading about him dying in one of the KOFs. Can I have multiple? I can't. Awesome, I'm gonna chip him out. No, I'm not. What the hell did he just do? This dude is kicking my ass. What the? Ow! This dude is an asshole. I apparently cannot jump in on him. Okay. Fine, I'll just zone you with my godlike Sagat zoning. That is totally godlike. I'm Tiger Knee. Bitch. Oh my god, he has air fireballs. That's cheating, bro. Oh my god, what did he do? What did he do? What did he do? What did he do? Can he not block during this? Like, that's the only thing I can think of, is that he just, he cannot block during this. Bitch. Ow. Ooh, that scared me. That scared me. That, that scared me. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it! I did it. I did it. It worked. I don't feel bad about it. Maybe I should have checked the difficulty of the AI first, because it's never... Ooh, that was bad. I need to figure out. Wait a minute, what? Bullshit, that homie was the boss. Oh, apparently Yun is the boss, okay. Whatever you say, what? This process confuses me. Don't get Yang the hell out of you, it can't help you. This is one on one. Shit. Damn it, I did the wrong direction. Ow, okay, apparently that's safe. What the? This is bullshit. This is bullshit. This character's hitbox is bullshit. I can't lose here. I cannot lose on camera? Not the first time playing this game. Tiger Knee. Always works. So that's why Sagat's so good. I always heard tales about Sagat's hilarious crouching heavy, but never before have I understood. Oh my god, it didn't work. Slow-ass fireball finishing you off. That's right. That kind of sucks for Dalsum. That his fireball doesn't even counter. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wake up. Actually, now that I think about it, does he? No, he doesn't. I was trying to figure out if he could, if he had that Kara shit. That did not, did not work. I fucked up. I fucked up. Ooh, shit. 
Oh, there's a low in there. That's cheap. That's cheap. That's cheap. I did it. I did it. You do a random super on me. I lost points in there. How dare I lose points in there? Because I was above 1,200 when I started. Man. Bitches be stealing my points. Sagat does not look good there. So that's Capcom's SMK2. Ah, uh, some of the best gameplay of this game. Y'all done ever- uh oh. Now wait a minute. Wait a minute. Spoiler alert, do we got Akuma? Oh, we got Akuma. That is a terrible portrait of Akuma. Looks like a douchebag in that picture. Oh god, I'm gonna lose. Oh god. I'm scared. Please admit it, I'm scared. See, I'm scared. Shit. Oh my god, this character is doing too much damage. Okay. Okay, Akuma. Alright. Making me pay for saying I'm the best. Alright, Akuma. Tiger knee time. You're gonna eat a tiger knee. You're gonna eat a tiger knee! You didn't eat a tiger knee and I ate an uppercut. Oh my god, that uppercut did so much damage. The hell was that? I don't know what that was, and it scares me. Oh god damn it, I jumped right in. Oh my god! That did like 80% of my health. Oh my god, I have Cammy. What the hell? I have never in my life tried to play Cammy ever. What am I doing? You got two hits of Tatsu and that's still comboed? And it's overpowered. I'm getting my ass kicked. Oh my god, this dude read my sweep. What the fuck? This dude is better than Infiltration. That was bullshit. <laughs> what the hell was that? Man. See, look how much of a douche that dude just looks like an asshole. I am not losing my points. We're gonna beat this motherfucker. Alright, let's check this shit out. Custom combo system, parrying and super combo system, extra gauge and special move. I don't even know, let's just do it. We're just doing it. That's right, I picked two Yoris. There's Raiden. All I have to do is figure out how to do his command grab and I'm set. That's all I gotta do. And I'll win. I should have put Raiden first. Because if I get him last, I'm screwed. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. That's bullshit. This game sucks. <laughs> Every single time I hit a button, I get tattooed or uppercutted. <laughs> Shit. Alright, regular Yori. You you hold my salvation. Oh my god, see? Every damn time I hit a button. Did he just taunt me? I think this motherfucker just taunted me. Oh my god, see? Every single fucking time. If I hit a button, I get uppercutted or tatsu. Oh my god. Every single time. Seriously, he he recovered and could have hit me before my fireball recovered, but he waited until I hit a damn button to blow me up. This is bullshit. Alright, bro. This character is bullshit. Oh my god. Oh my god. This character is bullshit. Alright, that's that. I'm not gonna beat this dude. I'm terrible at this game. I don't know how to play it. So, I admit defeat. 
the grandmaster douchebag that is this dude's character portrait with his anal beads around his damn neck. You can go ahead and keep them anal beads. You win. You win, and I'm going back to getting blown up in Shin Megami Tensei 4. I got blown up there too. The reason I actually did this, decided to record a quick video, was because I got blown up. I got to the first, like, actually it's not the first. I'm trying to think of exactly how the game's gone so far. There's been a boss yet. No, you just had to find a special item first. Um, the first, like, mini-boss character. And I ran into him. And I did the sword slashy move thingy that is supposed to give me the preemptive strike. And instead, the, the mini-boss dude got the preemptive strike. And immediately wiped out three people in my party. <laughs> Including the main character. Who, like, the one good thing about this game, like, in previous Shin Megami Tensei games, in previous... Uh, Persona games, just any other Atlas game in general, if your main character dies, usually that's game over. Like, right there, that's in general game over. Thankfully, that is not the case in this one. However, in that situation, it basically made it a hopeless fight for me anyway, because none of your demon, none of your summoned demons can use items unless they have a special skill, which that one obviously did not have that special skill. So I couldn't revive my dude, and I could not summon new demons because my dude was dead. So, basically, because this dude just randomly got the preemptive strike and wiped out three people in my party immediately, like, completely out of my control, I died. So, I mean, that that just happens sometimes in, like, in Shin Megami Tensei games. That's just something you gotta get used to. It's gonna happen. You're gonna cry. It's gonna suck. But that's life. <laughs> that's Shin Megami Tensei for you. Sometimes you just die and there's nothing you could have done. Occasionally, you die and it's because, like, you didn't prep correctly, like... Your dude, like, every single one of your characters is weak to the one element this dude uses. And you're just like, well, shit, that was poorly planned. And it's your own damn fault, occasionally. But sometimes it's just shit like that, where it's like, you just walk in, and, like, this dude just happened to get a critical hit on his group hit attack and killed everybody. What are you gonna do? And that was what happened. So I took a break to play this game, and then I got critical hitted by Akuma and died. And God damn it, I'll never make you suffer through that again. I'm just trying to think of shit that I can do. I may actually import... Uh, I should, probably should have said this when I was talking about Blaze Blue. I may actually import uh, Chrono Phantasma. Is it Phantasm or Phantasma? I'm pretty sure it's Phantasma, but I don't actually know. Um, I may actually import it. Because, I mean, like, no matter what, no matter when it comes out in 2014, that guarantees me two months of having the game before it comes out. If it comes out on the 1st of January... I will have had two months. It's not going to come out on the 1st of January. But still, that's two months of time guaranteed that I have the game longer than other people. So, and, I mean, that's worth, I mean, unless it ends up costing me like $200, which it won't. But I'm just saying, if it ends up costing something like that, then no, it's not worth it. But if it's only like, you know, $15, $20 more, hell yes, it's worth it. To me. So I may end up doing that. Uh, game For Gamefly, I'm, I, I'm thinking about getting Ultimate Marvel. Uh, from there for the PS3 just to play it a little bit just to dick around get a couple videos etc So I can give y'all something to watch in the meantimes I just haven't had the space open yet because I've been playing uh, Infamous and I still have to play Infamous 2 In preparation for Infamous Second Sons or Whatever the hell it's called coming out for the PS4 because that's the first game that I'm going to get for the PS4 Yeah, so that's that. That's everything Peace out